believe that capitalism and business are supposed to be the drivers of change are now at a cusp of deep crisis and also possible possibilities of transformation. VW diesel emission scandal or being aware of the full scale of the apparent corruption at the top of FIFA or in world athletics. We had, however, had the financial crash of 2008 and the corruption at the heart of banking, including the dishonest manipulation of LIBOR and foreign exchange rates. more than 80 um, percent of the citizens uh, say, according to an Accenture um, a consumer study with 40,000 consumers, it's very um, representative and reliable, uh, that the present model is not anymore at the service of the planet and the society as a whole. So we're not proposing something new, we're just reminding of what uh, we actually know, but we are not living and not promoting in the economic uh, system. There is a global shift in consciousness, particularly among young entrepreneurs, away from bottom line thinking and towards a much more holistic approach. Away from acquisition as the sole criteria, and towards contribution to society. We have a different uh, view on that. Uh, money should just be the means. Uh, capital is the means, but not the goal. The goal should be the common good. And this, in the first moment, was just an intuition. We also um, developed a process of implementation. As uh, one, one of the lessons learned over the last 20 years in my political activity is that it's not sufficient to have a beautiful alternative which is uh, convincing and supported by <laughs> even the majority of the citizens if uh, our governments and parliaments are not ready to implement. I think this uh, is disqualifying for a democratic discourse because in a democracy there are always alternatives in the very plural. And uh, that's why the civil society movement answered with there are plenty of alternatives, tapas, and as delicious as the Spanish ones. And the whole thesis of Co is that organizational and global change really has to start with personal transformation. With great courage and often with great personal sacrifice, they are the builders of tomorrow for future generations. They are building great companies, and what is more, it turns out that they are also indeed great companies.